Hello everyone, P from 41 here. So this is a really beat up GY6 buggy. This is a Carter Talon, but different manufacturers have made buggies like this under different names. Now today we're not going to be worrying about the horrible rat's nest of wiring. Today we're going to be focusing on the fuel petcock. Now if you'll notice, there is no shutoff valve on this fuel petcock. That's because it's a vacuum operated petcock. Now in a normal petcock, uh, there will be a valve which you can use to turn on and off the flow of fuel to the carburetor. Now, the way this works is it's got a regular fuel line, but then it's also got a vacuum line which goes to the intake manifold. Now inside of it is a little vacuum diaphragm which operates a valve which controls the fuel flow. So when the engine's running and providing vacuum to the diaphragm, it opens the valve, allows the fuel to flow, and when the engine is stopped and there's no vacuum, the valve closes and fuel is no longer allowed to flow. Seems simple enough. The problem is that these are very, very prone to failure. I've had, uh, this is the second one I've had fail and it's the second one that I've actually had. So yeah, their failure rate is pretty high, especially if they've been sitting. Now the problem is that when they fail, usually the diaphragm will fail and dump raw fuel into the intake manifold which fills your engine up with fuel and then fills the crankcase up with fuel and that is no good and clearly this one has failed because I have looped a fuel line around just to plug off both ports because it's now dumping fuel out of both ports and it will provide full fuel flow uh, out of the main fuel line or the vacuum line uh, with absolutely no vacuum present at all so this is no good now I could replace it, but to be honest, I absolutely hate these things because they fail so often and there's no way to actually shut off the fuel flow manually. So instead, I'm going to be replacing it with this standard uh, fuel petcock. Now you'll need to match up the threads on the tank. Now this one, if my memory serves me correct, is an M16 by 1.5. So we're going to put that on there. and. I'm going to run an inline fuel filter and that way we don't have to worry about this vacuum petcock anymore. Now for those of you wondering this isn't going to adversely affect the buggy or the carburetor or the engine or anything at all. Um, the fuel petcock does the exact same thing as a normal petcock when the engine's running it just shuts off when it's not running and it doesn't regulate the fuel at all. All the fuel regulation is done by the uh, by the float and the needle inside the carburetor regardless of what kind of petcock you have. So I've got a funnel with a fuel tank on the ground because this tank isn't empty. i try to catch all the fuel when it comes out of here. So, pull the old strainer out. It's probably going to be stuck in there. There's a strainer, or what's left of it. I ripped off the top part from inside the gas tank. So this new petcock did come with an in-tank strainer, but I'm actually just going to leave it out because I hate in-tank strainers. In my experience, they tend to just keep any debris inside the gas tank floating around where it can continue to cause problems. And I'm going to be running an inline in fuel filter anyway, so it's not necessary. So thread that on. Now the old one didn't have a rubber seal, but this new one does. It's going to turn, I don't want it to turn. Okay, that's on there good. 
now we'll just plumb up our fuel lines. Fuel lines all plumbed in. We got a nice straight shot through the fuel filter right into the carburetor, nice and simple. Now when you do this, you will need to plug off the vacuum port in the intake manifold. Now in the case of this buggy, uh, the vacuum port from the intake manifold was actually teed off uh, and went into the vacuum petcock and also over here to this little port on the carburetor. So I didn't actually have to uh, get a vacuum cap for this. All I did was route the vacuum hose straight from the intake manifold over into this port on the carburetor so it still gets vacuum. And now we can just turn our fuel on. And it's not flowing right now because, oh, there it goes. Sometimes these will flow fuel when the carburetor, when the engine's not running, and sometimes the engine needs to be running and drawing in fuel for them to uh, draw fuel through the line. But it looks like it's working. So that's it. Parts will be down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below.